everyone, Yensid Organist here, and welcome to another episode of Orgocraft. I hope you guys are having a great day today. We are back getting started on things in Arendelle today, and I had, I had a lot of great feedback on what to do with this area here. Um, and so that's what we are going to be working on today. When I initially, um, you know, was thinking about doing this, I had this thought of like, oh, I have to, I have to start with a castle, and we have to go there first before we do anything else. And the castle is is such a big part of a part of this that I really want to make sure I get things right. And to be able to get things right, we need to. Um, we, we need to make sure that our scale is right and we have a good idea of where we're going to go from. So we're going to start with something in the town that is actually manageable, and that is what is known as Market Square. And that is the area that um, basically is, is right off of the harbor and connects to the bridge that will lead out into the castle. And I feel like this is something that... It's going to be really easy to to get a good idea of the scale for things as we as we build. You know, um, when we were laying out the outlines here, you know, we were looking at you know this this gray area here, and then um, the white area as well, or possibly something in between. So I think that once we actually like have have a a base to work with and you know start framing out some houses and you know like some of the the stalls and shops that are along there i think that's going to help give us a really good idea of how big things need to be and then from there we can we can expand we can we can build out the roads for the town we can build out the the docks for the harbor and we can get the build, bridge for the castle built and we can really start from there to get our sense of scale so in order to do this, this ground over here needs to be um, a little bit closer to the water. So we have a massive area to take down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a beacon and we are going to level this area for sure and then we're probably going to take some of this out as well because I suspect that a lot of this is going to need to be our town so yeah so we have we have a lot of work to do I'm not going to do all of it right now but we'll at least get started and this is going to be in the form of a time lapse so hope you enjoy <laughs>
Welcome back, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the time lapse. So it's been probably more than a week since I have actually played in this world. I had a um, week of vacation with my daughter and just decided to relax and not worry about anything. So yeah, so enjoyed enjoyed my time with her and enjoyed not having to worry about anything. And now we are back and we are ready to get going. So as you can see, we have cleared a ton of area here and we still have work to do um, under under the water line there, but that's, that's a project for another day. So what we need to do now is we need to start figuring out the dimensions of this market square and what we want to do here. So I brought a little bit of blocks here so that we can start figuring things out. So I was looking at two different possibilities. One was a scale of um, three and one was a scale of five for houses. So what I want to do is I initially want to get just a little bit set up here and just kind of try to figure out where things are going to go. So based on some pictures that I've been looking at of this area, um, there are, let's see here, I think there are three houses here. So let's just do one and then two and then three, and then there's a little bit of a, an archway and a passageway through there. Then we have a kind of a double wide house here, so this would be five, so we'd leave a gap there. There's a little bit of a gap right here. We have another three house here, and I think I wanna leave a gap of one. Let's actually move this over. There, so we have a little gap between these two houses, and then we're gonna have, um, you know, some kind of little wall so that you don't fall down onto the the docks down there. Um, and then you'd have a you'd have a path that you would be able to kind of come around and into the next part of the city. So this is this is this is one possibility. The trouble with this is when you're only doing houses that are three blocks wide, there's really not a lot of room for detail. Um, you know, so you know you do something like this, you got your door, but that's it, because then you have to immediately start another house here. You know, and you don't have a lot of room. You can't put any windows in on the main floor, and and these are small houses that are in here. Um, you know, and, there, and there's certainly a lot that we can do with it, and they're all two-story buildings, so they can kind of go up from there. But that kind of gives you, it kind of gives you a little bit of a feel. And then, like I said, there's an archway um, that goes through here. If we do something like that, you know, and a little bit of an alleyway between the two. It's it's a very narrow area for sure, and it would be higher than that. But that kind of that kind of gets us the feeling of what we're going with there. So then, if we come over here, and uh, let's see, so this house would actually go here, and I guess all of these would be back one block, but we haven't, we're, not, we're not building anything yet, so not an issue. So then we have a little bit of a, a path through here, so let's go ahead and mark that out right there. And then we have five smaller houses, so those would be, so again, we're gonna do threes, so two, three, four, and five, and then there's a larger house on the end, which would probably be five blocks, so one, so that would be the skip, and then one, two, three, four, five, that would kind of be the edges of that house, and then there's a little bit of a passageway. Now, hmm, I'm trying to think of what I had calculated for this originally. Um... Not quite sure, because obviously there's a lot more space there than I had intended. The, the shorter side was good, but the longer side, I might need to, I might need to look at some reference pictures again to, to figure out exactly where we want to go with those. Hello, spiders. Goodbye, spiders. So, um, so that's a possibility there. So I guess what we could maybe do is we might be able to have a little bit bigger houses if this is the scale that we are going with. Um, 
Yeah, so then our other option would be the larger houses on the on the back there. So I think what I want to do is I think I want to um, do kind of a little bit of a mock up here and put some basically just put some facades of the houses in place just to kind of get a feel for for how it looks if we were to do that size. So let me get let me get some other materials together and let me get let me get that in place and see what it looks like. So here is kind of the first mock up for the houses around Market Square. So as you can see, every different color of wood gives us um, a different house. Um, and this is this is a rough idea of what the size would be. Obviously, the roofs are not in. That's what would be represented by these little um, one wide columns coming out from the top of there. Roofs are going to be difficult at this scale for sure because you know if we you know when we when we kind of look at the the design of them they have these really steep sloping roofs and there's no way that we're going to be able to do that so we would have to get creative if this is the scale that we are working on but this is kind of what we have so we've got these five houses over here there's a little bit of a gap here this is where our little walkway would be um, I actually decided to go with a, a four-wide arch here. It's going to be a little bit harder to do because it's easier to do in odd numbers, but I think it would be okay. And as I was looking at at some of my reference pictures, like these houses are kind of um, staggered, like they're not all right in line with each other. And I think that's kind of a, a, a nice feature to this. It gives a little bit of depth um, and will make it, um, make it easier to, to add a little bit of detail to it. Then we have these over here, and these pretty much are all lined together. Um, I did set one of them back just a little bit, um, but you can see, you know, really kind of crowded in close together, but it's definitely going to be hard to do detail. Um, you know, as I'm looking, there's there's small little windows on the first floor of these buildings, and like the second story windows, you know, are very detailed, and they go almost to the edge of the houses. So obviously, you know, this is Minecraft. We have to we have to do what we can with it. Um, but that just that kind of gives us an idea of what we have here. And then over here, as I was playing around with dimensions, I realized that this actually is um, there's a little bit of like a, a curved wall that comes out here and then leads to the bridge. Um, I'm still not quite sure what happened with my measurements on that. Something something is obviously off, but that's okay. Um, you know, and this isn't necessarily where it's going to permanently sit. I would probably shuffle all of this over when it actually comes to building the houses, but that, that at least explained a little bit of the extra space that was here. So, I have to say, like, scale-wise, this feels pretty good, but obviously I don't like what we can do with the details. Um, one, of the, one of the other things I need to put in over here is there's a little um, like covered market area, and that's something I'm going to need to figure out where that's going to go. And that I think, I think that'll also help us get a good feel for how big the area is. So let me, uh, let me get some other materials so that we can have something to differentiate that. And let's build that real quick. All right, so I've done a little bit, a little bit of um, more um, roughing in some of the area around here. So we're you know, we're gonna have the the. The, the street level is actually below what we were standing on before um, because I knew I was going to replace it, so I just ripped it down a layer lower. I realized that this little um, area here that's going to lead out to the bridge did not go all the way to the edge of the square. So I adjusted that a little bit, and then I did a little bit um, down here of the docks. This is not anywhere near what they're going to be like, and I also realized as I was putting these in, they should have been at the half slab level, not at the full, the, um, the full block level. So, but I just wanted to kind of get a rough feeling for what the heights were going to be like. So, you know, we, we have the bridge that's going to be over here, you know, and then you'd walk in, and then you kind of opens to the marketplace. There's a little path over here and some stairs, and I think I'll probably do um, slabs rather than stairs. Um, but so there's a little path here that leads down to the docks and then we have this the big open area in the main street and then there's this larger um, ramp down to the docks obviously you know think of where like you know if ships were unloading cargo you'd need a you'd need a good way to get it up and through which I realized 
makes having a per semi-permanent stall right here uh, kind of difficult. But anyway, so that's just kind of a rough idea for the, the shape of the square. So then if we were to build this stall, I think we would want to come at least two blocks out from there and maybe three. And then it's about as wide, maybe just a little bit more wide than the the ramp itself. So we could do, so I think this is uh, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And then we could do, so 5 would be there. And then if we were to come out a little bit farther here, 7 would be here. And I guess we could always go with an odd number because this feels too small. This feels too big. So I know I wanted to keep with um, odd numbers, but maybe that's just not meant to be in all cases. And I think that's okay. Um, so let's build this up. So it probably would not be very tall. I'm thinking it would probably be three high at the most. And then, let's see, do I have any slabs that we could just kind of fill this in really quickly and just kind of get a feel? It does have a, it does have a, um, I don't, I don't know what to call the roof. It has a roof that slopes up toward the middle. So, what, whatever the, whatever the term for that is, I, I don't know what that is. Um, I don't know if that's a gabled roof or something. I, I don't know. <laughs> For somebody who wanted to go into architecture when they were younger, I don't know the words. <laughs> but so this kind of gives us a feel for what that stall would be like. It might be a little bit taller than that. Um, it feels like it's a little too far out. Um, so maybe, maybe we would move it back a block. Um, if we were going to do that, because the, the road is fairly wide. So what, as I was kind of looking at things, do I have any cobblestone? I do not. I probably do over in my massive amounts of storage. But as I was looking at things, there's kind of like a, like a road that goes down the center. And then there is, I guess, what you would consider to be sidewalks. Um, do I really not have any cobblestone? There we go. So what you would kind of have is, you know, you'd have this finished, you'd have, you know, a more finished sidewalk that kind of comes out like this um, along in front of the houses. And then you would have, you know, a, a cobblestone road that kind of runs in between them. And it kind of looks like maybe the, you know, the more finished stone is maybe a little bit higher. So, you know, we might do that like at the half slab level. But that's kind of what we have. But these proportions aren't good. They're they're very similar in size. Um, it almost seems like this maybe would be more like three or four blocks wide. Is that the last one? That's the last one. That's all right. We can make some more. You know, whereas this would be three wide, and then you'd have another three on this side coming out from the from the um, the little marketplace there. You know, and obviously right now that doesn't leave us a very wide road right there. Um, you know, obviously, you know, you would think about like horse-drawn carriages coming through and things like that. So I think we might, I think if we were going to do this, we would probably push this over one more. Um, and that would give us a little bit more room for the road. And we might, we might, we might cut it down a little bit and we might make it only, um, um, five wide instead of six and maybe instead of being a gap of nine maybe we shrink it and do it as a gap of seven that might make it proportionally um look a little bit better but i want to i want to take a look at how how this seems from afar i have a little i have a little observation platform up here that i built so let's fly up here really quick and take a a far away view and kind of get a feel for how that looks it's not bad. Um, from from this far away, it looks, you know, everything looks nice and proportional. The houses look funny, obviously. <laughs> um, you know, but it, it, it looks pretty nice um, as far as this goes. You know, and if, and if we're talking like true to life scale, 
this is probably the size that it is. Um, you know, because if you think about, you know, a little two-story house, it's not going to be that tall. These are not going to be that wide, you know, but in real life, your walls are not a meter thick. <laughs> Especially if they're made out of wood, um, you know, they're they're maybe a, a foot thick or eight inches thick, you know. So obviously, you know, we're having to deal with, you know, with the constraints of the game as we do this, you know. And maybe and maybe the maybe the thing to do is we don't have as many houses and we detail them more. That that might be part of the way to go. So what I want to do, now that we've kind of gotten a good idea for how this feels, I want to go through and I want to do the five block scale um, and just kind of rough out the houses. I'm not going to do the entire square because um, I think I think from what we are currently have sitting here, we can get a, a decent feeling for how that's going to look. But let me go, let me get those houses roughed in uh, and just kind of a rough idea of the dimensions and we'll see how it looks. So here we are with the next scaled versions. So this is this is going five blocks per, um, I guess for the narrowest house. Um, this is this is what I have come up with. So I feel like as far as the house size go, I feel like it's okay. Um, so this would be the narrowest house that we have, and then this is the little bit of the wider houses. Um, and then I added a few extra gaps between houses. So like this row over here where we have the six houses, I put a block gap in between each one of them. Because I felt like we had the room... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I felt like we had the, the room for it. Um, yeah. Um, and then I, I, I tore down the facades of the smaller one because you couldn't really get a good feeling for um, how everything just kind of fit in the area when it, there was stuff in the way looking at it. So let's go up here and take our view from here. And this looks okay. Um, also, the red is kind of the outline of where that courtyard um, of the square ends and leads off into the bridge. You have to disregard what is there from before. I didn't want to tear all of that down. Um, yeah, so... So this is kind of where I am, and I want your feedback on this before I really go any farther with this. What I'm kind of feeling as I build this up, I feel like this scale for the houses is okay. I feel like the scale for the area is too big. So I think maybe what I kind of want to do is, first of all, pull it all this way. And then eliminate the gaps. Um, you know, eliminate the gaps that we have over here as well. Um... You know, and maybe we do have a house that's only three wide. You know, like this one on the end here could be a little bit more narrow. Um, but just pull it in a little bit because it feels it feels too open. Um, you know, obviously this is this is an open market courtyard. Um, but yeah, it just it feels too open. Like if you're you know if you're if you're walking through here, this is a big area. You know, and when I watch the movies. Um, it doesn't feel like this is like this massive open area. It's a, it's a, you know, it's the largest open area in the town for sure, but it's not this big. You know, it still kind of has that quaint um, seaside village kind of feel to it, you know, that wouldn't have huge open spaces to it. So, yeah, so I definitely want to know what you think about all this. And so what I'm going to do right now. I took pictures from... Actually, I don't know if I took pictures from this size. So let me do... Uh, wrong button. Here we go. <laughs> nope. There we go. So I'm going to put on screen right now... Um, so this is the... The first thing that you're looking at is the... The, the smaller one that we did, the smaller scale, and then this, you know, back here is the larger scale. So let me know what you think. Like I said, I kind of have, I kind of feel like I like this scale of house that we have right now with the size, with the, the space that we had in the original. So like I said, I think if we pull this together a little bit more, pull it over this way, 
Um, I, I think it's not going to feel nearly as big, but definitely let me know your thoughts on it. I really don't want to play around with four wide or even number wide houses because then you can't put the door in the center. <laughs> um... And there's not a ton you can do with it. So, yeah, so let me know, let me know your thoughts. Um, and then, and we'll, and we'll work from there. So I think that is going to do it for this episode. I know it is taking a while to kind of get into this, but I promise, um, we are going to, we're going to start making progress on this very, very soon. I think for the next episode, we're going to be actually going back to the, um, to the older part of the world. I have some upgrades and improvements that I want to do, and there's something else that I want to do in the nether um, before the next upgrade comes out, which I think when I release this is supposed to be tomorrow, but I'm going to hold off on that um, for at least a few days, um, if not a little bit longer, especially because I like to have the ability to do the... Um, Time lapses with the replay mod, um, which probably will be a little while before that becomes available. So yeah, so let me know your thoughts on this, and if you if there's something that I didn't try that you think I should try, definitely let me know that as well. But I think, guys, that is going to do it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and share it with your friends. If you haven't already, I would encourage you to subscribe and make sure you click that little notification bell so you can stay up to date on all my latest posts. Be sure to follow me on social media and hope to see you on Wednesday nights for our live streams. Thanks for watching. See you real soon.